Hello and welcome to the first of a series of read alouds online that I will be posting to the library website um, for, for you to enjoy. Um, families and students, um, we hope that you're well during these difficult times and um, we hope to be back to school soon. So as you can see, I have a book. It's one of my favorite books and I'm allowed to read this today thanks to Simon and Schuster, the publisher and the author and illustrator, Jesse Seamer. So big thank yous to both of those for allowing people like myself to read these books aloud um, and share them with, with students. So the book I have is one of my favorites. It's called Love Z, and it's written and illustrated by Jesse Seamer, who's also the author of Not Quite a Narwhal, which is another of my favorite books. So let's get going. On a bright, chilly day, Zed went out looking for an adventure and stumbled upon a piece of half-buried treasure. You can see it right there. Inside was a message. Too smudgy to read, except for two words at the very bottom. Love, Beatrice. The young robot did not know what love meant or who Beatrice was, but they felt important. So Zed took the treasure away and headed towards home. As night fell, all the robots prepared to power down and recharge for the next day. Zed asked for a bedtime story, and a nightlight, and a good night kiss. Tucked snugly in bed, Zed's thoughts drifted back to the important treasure. What is love? Hmm, asked the young robot. Hmm, it's a good time to pause. What do you think love is? Does not compute, replied the rusty old robots. Then they said, sweet dreams, and turned out the lights. Alone in the dark, Zed could not sleep. The other robots had always been able to answer Zed's questions. If they did not know what love meant, who would? Maybe there was one person. Hmm, who do you think that person is? We'll find out. So off he goes, he's got his little knapsack here with his food in it, no doubt, his lunch. In the morning, Zed went out looking for Beatrice. Hello, I'm looking for Beatrice, explained Zed. I want to know what love is, and she will have the answer. That sounds important, said the captain. Climb aboard and we'll go on a quest. So they did. Unsure of how to start a quest, Zed asked around. Excuse me, are you Beatrice? I don't think so, Zed. Are you Beatrice? Are you Beatrice? No, said a voice. What's a uh, Beatrice? Hmm. We're on a quest to find out what love is, explained Zed, and Beatrice will have the answer. I don't know any Beatrices, said the crow, but to me, love is sharing your food, even when it's delicious. That did not compute, but Zed thanked the crow anyway and changed course toward a place with delicious food. the breadboard. The baker did not know Beatrice either, but she was happy to share what love meant to her. Love is when someone is patient and takes the time to teach you new things. 
That did not compute. But Zed thanked the baker and changed course towards a place with teachers. The kids at recess had a lot of thoughts about what love meant. Love is butterflies. Love is sweaters. Love is wishing on a star. <laughs> love is lawn gnomes. That might be my favorite. Love is a million puppies. Love is snowflakes on my tongue. I think my daughter would agree with that. Absolutely none of them computed. But Zed thanked the students anyway and had an idea what to go in search of. Sorry, and had no idea of what to go in search of. What if he never found Beatrice? What if love was something a robot just could not compute? Zed was about to suggest that they change course towards home when they stumbled upon a good place to spend the night. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Little island all on its own. I wonder who lives there. Hmm. Hello, we are on a quest. Oh, never mind. Hello, I'm Beatrice, said the woman. Zed could not believe their luck. What are you doing out here in the cold? asked Beatrice. Looking for you, exclaimed Zed. I want to know what love is and thought you would have the answer. Beatrice paused to think. She thought and thought and thought some more. Love is difficult to explain. It's warm, cozy, safe. You'll know it when you feel it. Zed hoped she was right. It's getting late, said Beatrice. Let's get some rest. The young robot was preparing to power down and recharge for the next day when... The old rusty robots arrived unannounced. Zed, you were gone. We were worried. Oh, they came looking for him. But we found you. We brought your favorite bedtime story and your nightlight and a good night kiss. Tucked snugly in bed. Zed felt warm and cozy and safe. It was a feeling the young robot had left many times before. But now it had a name. Love, Zed. So that was Love Z, written and illustrated by Jesse Seymour. And I think it's a really cool story. Um, love means different things to different people. And I thought, what a great way to start these read alouds by just asking you, what does love mean to you? Now, how are you going to respond? Well, you could send an email to Christopher underscore Lister at sd33.bc.ca. You can draw something or write something or paint a picture or do a video response. Um, but I would love to know what love means to you. Um, so if you'd like to do that, then please participate. And if you just wanted to enjoy the story, I hope you enjoy the story. So I hope to do some more of these, um, testing out different places in my house that gives the best light. So I hope you enjoyed it for now. Um, be well, be safe, and we hope to be back to school soon. Take care.